Okay, today I'm going to show everybody how to make Jeremiah's best ever spinach and artichoke dip. Okay, there's going to be some key ingredients here. First, we're going to have quite a bit of spinach here. I'm going to use about eight ounces, uh, about two thirds of what I have here. I'm going to use a full cup of mixed Italian cheese. This is provolone, mozzarella, uh, Romano, and um, Parmesan, all pre-grated. Um, this is two cups here, but it's actually only about um, eight ounces. We're going to use the secret ingredient, canned anchovies. Uh, we have here some cream cheese, a full package, a full um, eight tablespoon, half cup stick of butter. We're going to use about half of these uh, pickled ant artichoke quarters. And uh, four cloves of garlic. I've got uh, two small ones. Okay, first I'm going to uh, chop the garlic. I'm going to mash it with the knife, pull the skins off, and Okay, now I'm going to turn the uh, stove on to medium heat and go ahead and throw in my half cup of butter. Let it melt. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, strain my um, artichokes. I've got about four ounces there. And I'm going to go ahead and chop them up a little bit more than they are um, arrived from the store. As we can see, the butter's still melting. Okay, now I'm going to uh, go ahead and cube uh, the cream cheese. I'm going to do that so that later when I'm uh, cooking everything together, it melts a little bit faster and uh, everything cooks a little bit faster. Okay, once the uh, bubble starts to sizzle a bit here, we're going to go ahead and add the garlic. Let it cook for about a minute. Stir that a little bit, keep it uh, from burning the butter. Now, after about a minute, I'm going to go ahead and add uh, these anchovies. Now they came with capers. That was a. I'm going to pull those out. I'm not going to use the capers. Here's the most surprising thing of all. We're not putting in a whole can. Just oop. Just uh, two anchovies. The most surprising thing is these anchovies actually completely dissolve into this uh, butter garlic mixture. Once they're mostly broken down, they start falling apart here. We're going to uh, go grab the spinach. Let's go ahead and add our spinach. It's going to look like quite a bit of spinach. Don't worry, it'll all reduce. Once you get about once you get about down to here, it's about time to go ahead and add the artichokes. Okay, 
Once that spinach is completely reduced, here in about a minute, we're going to go ahead and add the cream cheese. How's that smell? Delicious. Throw in these uh, cream cheese cubes. <clears throat> now we're trying to get the uh, cheese here to kind of uh, make a mixture with the other stuff. It'll it won't really want to separate. It's have to get the, some heat onto it and stir it quite a bit. Okay, now the uh, cream cheese is pretty much uh, melted and dissolved into the mix of the uh, dip here. I'm going to go ahead and add some uh, cracked pepper. Just to give it a little, little bit of spice beyond the garlic. And I've seen some recipes that use onions. We don't use any onions here. I've also seen some uh, recipes that use uh, frozen spinach, sour cream, some other stuff. Those things are against the rules. Alright, at this point we're going to go ahead and add, we could either add all of the mixed Italian cheeses, um, or what I'm going to do is I'm going to add about half of it now, and then I'm going to put half on top and bake the final. Yeah, that's already pretty cheesy. You can see I'm going to go ahead and turn the burner off. And I'm going to go ahead and pour this into a baking pan. It already looks so yummy. I'm going to put the uh, rest of the mixed Italian cheese on top. This is going to be kind of like a baking a pizza, you're going to cook this until the top cheese is bubbling brown and that will make it wonderful to dip into. Now I'm not going to uh, bake this right now. I'm going to go ahead and stick it in the fridge. I'm taking it to a party and I'll preheat the oven to 350 and I'll bake it there. <laughs> All right, I'm here at the party. I'm gonna cut up some, a baguette and uh, preheat the oven, and then I'll throw that in. It'll be very delicious. 350. There we go. All right, here we go. Excellent. 